Hi guys, my name is Axel Mulat. In this video, we will customize our WordPress website using the WordPress customizer. Let's jump into admin, appearance, customize. This customize option, guys, in the left side of the screen, depending of your team support. Some other WordPress team has a different customized support, but this team 2017, this is the available customized option. Let's customize this. For example, for site title, we add a text. As you see guys, the site title changed automatically, but this is not saved yet. If you have a modification in the customized option, what you will do is to save and publish, click this, before you see in the public side. Reload this. As you see guys, the site title has changed using the customizer. Let's back to this and let's edit the tagline. This is my tagline. And also you can uncheck and check this to display the site title and tagline. This section guys, the site icon, this is the favicon of your website. Let's upload a favicon. And the dimension guys also must be 512 by 512. I have a favicon. The size of my site icon or favicon is 512 by 512. Drag this upload and choose select and as you see guys the site favicon has applied to the wordpress website did you see in the tab this is the site icon save and publish and let's view to the public See, the site icon has in the tab. Scroll up, click this to back. For example, guys, in the color, you can change the color of your website if you want. For example, click dark. And as you see, the background of your website changed to dark color. You can choose customize also, but I will choose the light. And you can change the header text of your website. As you see, the text are changed color, but I leave it to white. And by the way, guys, you can choose this to view in a different version like mobile, tablet, and desktop. And you can hide these controls or view the controls. It's back and let's try another customized option, header media. In this option, guys, you can upload a header video if you want. This image will be replace a video. The sizes requirement is 2000 by 1 200 pixel and the file extension must be .mp4. Okay, let's change the header image. This is the default image of this theme. Let's add a new image. This is my image I already have. Drag. Let's choose this first. Skip cropping. A new image. This is the second one. Skip cropping. And let's add a third one. Skip cropping. Let's choose this guys. Randomize upload header. Save and publish. Let's view to the public. And as you see guys, the header image are changed when you reload the page. Reload Control F5 guys in your keyboard to full reload the page. As you see, the image will change when you reload the page. 
Oop, last one. Yes, it changed. And let's back. We need to add a logo, guys. Let's back to the site identity. Let's upload a logo for this website, guys. Select a logo. I have a logo here. Logo. Drag. And select logo. Let's crop this logo for fit size. That's good. Crop. And as you see, guys, the logo has displayed in the header. Say publish. Reload. And the logo has displayed in the header. Let's back. The widget customize option we will do later in this course and also the static home page. The last option is the additional CSS. If you have a knowledge in CSS, you can put through here. I have a knowledge in CSS. Add that. These CSS guys, because this logo has a large padding space between the header text and the tagline text. Let's remove this. As you see guys, the header text moved to the right. And I need this CSS to move the text to the left. Save and publish. Reload. And now guys, our team has customized with this team support. In the next video, we will customize the widget area in the sidebar. See you next video. Bye.